Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your bonus love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Sagittarius, this is a collective love message for your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see, Sagittarius, what do we have for you at this time? What do we have for you, Sagittarius? What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Thank you. Okay. All right. So Sagittarius, in this reading, we are connecting here with someone uh, who doesn't like being criticized, who doesn't take criticism very well. They are convinced here that they know best, that everybody should follow their lead, that they are here specialist. And I feel this person also, you know, it's like, here is the thing. They don't like being criticized, but they, but they don't mind criticize others. And I feel that you've received so much criticism from this person. They've been very critical about something here. And I'm also getting that they might, you know, gave you some very kind of uh, not nice comments or unpleasant comments that made you feel uncomfortable. And I feel, you know, your energy here is self-focused. And I feel because of that, you've kind of decided to focus more on yourself. You know, I feel that you are making healthy choices. You're putting yourself first. And I feel that you are investing a lot in yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's not that you are coming from the place of being selfish. It's place of self-love and self-care. Mutual energy, we have a decision. And I feel that because of this energy that this person is bringing to this connection, uh, I feel that um, you might you might you might be kind of reaching that moment that certain kind of uh, decision here has to be made about the future of this connection because that that it's too tiring too exhausting and it's just not particularly pleasant and nice, right? I feel that you know as a mutual energy this connection here is like a facing that kind of moment maybe you know momentum here it's gaining this connection is gaining moment, mom, momentum and 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 i feel this is your energy your energy is that decision what to do the final decision what to do with this connection overall energy we have searching yeah i feel that you are taking your time you're trying to figure out what is best for you and for this situation because at the end of the day, I'm getting that you care about this person, but it's like, uh, yeah, I do care about them. I, I, I might love this person, but uh, I recognize that their behavior here, it's not particularly uh, ideal. Yeah. But I'm seeing you taking your time in order to figure out what is the best solution with regards to this particular situation. Okay, so let's see, Sagittarius. Show me this person's feelings and their energy towards Sagittarius and this connection, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have an eight of pentacles, high precious, queen of wands. King of Wands. You may be dealing with Pisces. Page of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. All right. So Sagittarius, you might be dealing with another Sagittarius, okay? I also have Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. That looks like family unit. For some of you, you might be married to this person. For some of you, you are in a relationship with this individual. Children might be involved. 
Eight of Pentacles and the, and the High Priestess. It feels like this person here, it's... Mm, it might be a case here, Sagittarius, that this person recently starts telling you that they don't have much time, for instance, to kind of spend more time with you. It's like they are busy and they have to kind of stay longer at work. That's what I am getting here. I appreciate suggest that this person is hiding something. For some of you with this Queen of Wands, and I need to say it, it might be a case that this is someone here who puts you in a third party situation. And it's like you are in a relationship with this person. If you are in a happy relationship, Sagittarius, um, and and you know and everything goes well it's obviously not your reading okay I, I i post those readings very often so soon i'll be posting another reading for you but this is for the collective that resonates with this reading it might be a case when we have a will of fortune It feels like things going to change. You are dealing here with someone, Sagittarius, who have this very kind of independent, self-sufficient mindset. I don't know if I can say it that way in English, but Nine of Pentacles, it's like this person is focused on themselves. And there is something about here, stability. You might be getting that impression that of, of this person, that this person is not taking things seriously. What I am getting here, Sagittarius, that oh my gosh, this is very, very puzzling energy. Because for some of you, what I am getting here is that you know, high precious with the with the Queen of Wands, that can indicate, you know, like something hidden someone you know what i mean in the sense of um kind of third party that's that's a very strong actually third party situation but when we have this king of wands and when we have this this page of wands and the will of fortune sagittarius if you are dealing here with someone And this and children are involved and this person children are involved in the sense of this person from their previous relationship okay and I need to say it it feels like this person here uh, is in touch with their ex and they are hiding it from you I see a reconciliation between the two of them. Because that will of fortune is changing everything. Maybe this is like an ex-wife or ex-husband, Sagittarius, and they are in touch. And it's like they are on a good terms, but this person doesn't want to kind of tell you this, you know. And it's something to them working a lot or blaming things on work. This is someone who, who is not fully transparent about the situation. And I feel with this energy, this is someone here who is looking to they might come across that way or give you that impression that they are looking to have like an argument just on purpose just for the sake of arguing please take it how it resonates 
show me Sagittarius's energy and their feelings towards this person there might be a physical distance between the two of you Queen of Pentacles Queen of Cups it's very crowded already Temperance that's your energy Sagittarius you might be dealing with another Sagittarius Hanged Man and a Six of Pentacles mm. Five of Wands that suggests that you might be frustrated annoyed angry and agitated with this person this is a card of conflict tension it's just you know this is that energy that mm, i don't like what it's happening here i disagree with that you are showing here as someone who has so much to offer sagittarius with this queen of uh, queen of pentacles you have so much love to give with the queen of cups and i see you as someone who's very balanced very down to earth it's like you don't want to cause any problems i think like a very easygoing very nice and pleasant person who is willing to kind of compromise who 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 you know who's very generous with their time with support with affection with attention but i don't see your energy also as a cleany one i'm seeing you focusing on yourself the fact that we have this temperance here in your energy which is your energy it feels like indeed you are focusing on yourself and with the hangman it's like you are changing perspective of, about the situation uh, about you know as a whole and with the f six of swords it feels here sagittarius that you know um you want just a stable connection with the temperance as well and six of swords here you want to move into calmer waters calmer times bringing more stability harmony to the situation but there is something that is frustrating you because your energy here is very kind of down to earth you are very grounded you are very balanced it's like you know i don't want to cause any problems it's someone else here trying to find some sort of kind of you know i feel you're dealing here with someone who's very argumentative and who has secrets and deeply inside it is frustrating but i feel that you kind of you know keeping your composure you are very calm very balanced about the situation and it can be a case because you are trying to figure out how to approach this connection and also what sort of decision here to what is the best decision for this connection let's see let's see Sagittarius mm, you see five of wands again Hierophant ten of cups that it's marriage eight of swords at the bottom of the deck For some of you might feel that you are stuck in some sort of kind of situation and you're trying to make the best out of it maybe this is uh, there's so many scenarios here for you Sagittarius but you might be dealing with Taurus I have Gemini and Virgo energy five of wands again there is a tension between the two of you Or you feel frustrated about this whole situation the Hierophant and the ten of cups on your side it feels like at the end of the day I feel that you would love to be in a higher level of commitment with this person but 
something here is not working it's making you feel uncomfortable there is a tension between the two of you this person is coming with the energy of empress it's like they want to kind of this is a good card you know you might be divine feminine sagittarius or this or you are dealing with divine feminine but this is expansion and growth this is progress but in the middle of it there is a tension between it's like a power struggle between the two of you what i will say here and that's why with the eight of swords as an overall energy for this reading it feels like this connection is stuck there is no progress that's why you might be kind of in the middle of you know facing a decision there is a dilemma regarding the situation because nothing is happening and you want a stable long-term relationship for some of you want marriage with this person Sagittarius and it's like you are getting more and more frustrated about this whole situation but at the same time I feel that you are trying to figure out what exactly is going on why this person is acting in that sort of kind of way an eight of Swords suggests as an overall energy for this reading that mm, there is no progress this connection is stuck I feel that you have this is a very complex read very very complex read because this high priestess next to the queen of wands queen of wands it's like that there's something hidden and it's like there is a, a mm, excuse because of work and then you know this is like a family It might be a case that this Queen of Wands has a family, you know. Or again, this person here is in touch with their ex. But it's like they don't want to resign from this connection as well. But there is some sort of kind of obstacle here. Uh, on a way to take this connection into the next level. To see a progress when it comes to this connection. There's an obstacle. And it can be in a form of third party or they ex. Complex read. It might not resonate with all of you. And if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't. It's fine. But um, that's someone's message here. When it comes to the outcome of this connection, the you know, overall energy eight of swords shows that the, I'm not seeing that there will be any progress in the near future. Therefore, not, nothing significant here will change. But I don't see this connection also kind of, you know, an end of this connection. I don't see it. I feel this person kind of sees you as their divine counterpart, but there is something here going on. And it can be indeed that for some of you that this person here it it's in it's in touch with their ex, children might be involved. Also I see someone who might be traveling for work. And if they ex, for instance, living in a different city, state. Uh, it's like maybe they kind of see them, you know, and they are not telling you. Gosh, there are so many scenarios here. This is someone who is not fully transparent. And it's something to do with someone who might have a family or this person uh, was involved with, with their ex and children are involved or they were married to them, something like this. Because Wheel of Fortune also represents travel. But it feels like they are on a good terms here with them. Because Wheel of Fortune brings good luck and good fortune to the situation. I don't see this connection like ending. No, that's not what I'm seeing. But I see that, that growing frustration. 
because I feel that you really want a higher level of commitment with this person. And it's like that there is an obstacle. They are not giving you this. I feel that, you know, um, they seize you as their divine counterpart, but they are, there is no progress. There is no progress regarding this. And it's very confusing. Nevertheless, um, if you've been wondering about the future of this connection, I don't see both of you parting ways in the near future. No, not at all. No. Actually, I see this person being making very nice compliments, actually, uh, to you, and they will make you feel very nice. But it doesn't change the fact that there is some sort of obstacle and like a growing tension between the two of you. Because it feels like this connection is stuck. It's stuck. Nothing is happening here. And I feel it's coming from this person's side because you... What I see here is that you do want a higher level of commitment with them. But it's like this eight of swords. It's like they are bringing this energy. And they might be saying, oh, my hands are tight, you know. Um let's say the circumstances are not ideal you know now i am focused on my on my workplace on my work related matters my job it's important you know i need to gain certain amount of stability and so on but um i don't see both of you parting ways no not in this case however something here you know it's going on behind the scenes. Sagittarius, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Sagittarius, have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. Love and light. Till next time. Take care. Bye.